the coronavirus isn't stopping us from having fun. Parks aren't closed. The wind and the cold aren't stopping us from having fun. We're going to go it's on a cold. walk. <laughs> I didn't wear a winter coat. Why would I need a winter coat? Winter coats can't protect you from the coronavirus. Do you know the real reason I wanted to take a walk? Oh boy. Okay, so Lucy went to the bathroom at school. Ma'am, ma'am, can we ask you a couple questions? What are your thoughts on the coronavirus? I need to stay home. I clean my house. And, um, yeah. Bye. Oh, here's some strangers up here. We've got to ask them a couple questions. Hello, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, what are your thoughts on the coronavirus? What are your thoughts on the coronavirus? What are your thoughts on the coronavirus, ma'am? Ma'am, ma'am! What are your thoughts on the coronavirus? Do you have it? Do you are, don't give me the coronavirus. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do you have the coronavirus? Ah! Ew! Germs! Ah! Stop! I'm gonna lick you! Stop! Germs! That's nasty! Did you really swallow your gum? Did it went down my throat? Which way is she going? So the other day, mom told me I should be vlogging because to document us, so we can remember, remember the, the coronavirus, coronavirus um, of 2020, like corona. assuming there's going to be another one. This is 2020. No, but you're like, the coronavirus of 2020, as if there's going to no, be like that, another. <laughs> but, so. My opinion is, you should take it seriously, but some people are panicking way too much and buying too many Clorox wipes that aren't going to do that mu as much as they Four think. people like us can't find Clorox wipes. So we got Lysol. What? We do have Lysol? We've got we Lysol, Lysol wipes. wipes. Oh, they're all the same. <laughs> well, okay, stop for a second. Um, stop all school in Michigan race. has stop. been canceled. Oh, all public school, race. Natalie's school okay, too, even though she doesn't go to public Natalie. school. Our church has been canceled for the next three weeks. All meetings, youth groups, everything. It's really fun. I haven't been to church in two weeks anyway, and I really wanted to go this week. I was supposed to be on the worship team. I was supposed to be singing this Sunday. It's my birthday too. Um, we were gonna. It's my birthday on Sunday. We were gonna have a party, but I think we might have to cancel it. Or do it change it to our house, uh, just at our house that we were gonna have it in a bowling alley, um, or something. But chances are, most likely, I'm gonna have my birthday party April, in April instead. But so yeah, that's really fun. I think um, so. <laughs> Auntie Lisa, who you all know, has been texting us videos all day um, on her thoughts on the coronavirus. So I think we will, I'll insert some of those right now so you can see her thoughts on the coronavirus. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday. So if you all want to have a funny day instead of worrying about the corona thing going on, uh, look at my funny cat. Jelly Bean is just sitting there looking up at the wall straight. I don't know what she sees and what's up there, but just looking straight up and she won't move. I'm calling her name and it's so funny. Uh, look at that tail go because she knows I'm talking about her. But then anyhow, I'm going to move the phone. So give me a second as I walk to see you guys can see my dishes. Hang on a minute. Just go real fast over here and walking with my cane. So, look at this, all these dishes here. This is from uh, today and last night. So what can you do, you know, that'll keep you busy. And then I'm making a fresh pot of coffee. So there you go. Have a great day, God bless, bye-bye. Hey, I'm having my sugar. Oh no, I shouldn't be doing that. It's the coronavirus. Better drink all the sugar that I can. Bye-bye. Okay, Sister Pooh, let me give you a funny message. I like that, go have a Corona beer. You got me cracking up now, so that's funny. But we don't have any, so I have to drink something else. Uh, I might ask Hannah for the heck of it, take me to Meyer tonight, 
just to see what's happening out here. Because I do feel stranded a bit, but it doesn't matter because with my hip and leg, I can't do much anyway. So, love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Look at Make sure you get your cleaning done. Bye. Have a great day. Very interesting. Very insightful. Mm -hmm. Very yeah, insightful. <laughs> Lulu, what do you think of the coronavirus? She doesn't know what you're talking about. No, she does not. Lulu what is, do you think of being... Lulu doesn't care. What do you think of n not having any school this week? Great weeks. That's kind of creepy. That statue is odd. It looks like a person. It's real. It is a person? Yeah. You think? Turn around. Turn around. Tell it to turn around again. <laughs> Natalie, why are you walking like you have poop in your pants? What's wrong with <laughs> did you have an accident? You did? You? <laughs> Make sure you look both ways while walking and crossing the street. Make sure you stay hydrated, kids. Make sure you look at the views around you. Make sure you enjoy the weather when it's lovely. And it's summer weather in Michigan. Make sure you walk like this and look ridiculous. Let me show you how my shadow looks. Make sure you walk like this all the time when you're vlogging and waving your water around and making a scene out of yourself and sway your hips back and forth. Make sure you just live your best life. Woohoo! I have a lot of, I wanna go do things. Let's go get coffee. Let's go have fun. Let's go shopping. The coronavirus ain't stopping me. There's no people around to get in my way. Yeah, exactly, it's a plus, it's a good thing. <laughs> don't misquote that and say that I said the coronavirus is a good thing. It's a good thing for me, because I don't have it. Holy fuck, me, bro. Geese. Geese is a heavy set bird with a head on one. Wait, you can't even see it. Geese. Geese is a heavy set bird. Can you let me finish my sentence? Geese. Geese is a heavy set bird with a head on one side Geese. and a tail on the other. Come here, Geese. Let me fight you. Ah! Who gave you Mountain Dew? Um, I actually drank Mountain Dew today. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Natalie, look, this pole has a lovely little hat somebody put on. Somebody lost a glove and this pole gained a hat. Isn't it beautiful? Also guys, I want to tell you that, um, you know my like newest obsession, I think I've talked about it, has been friendship bracelets. Well, lately, I got back into um, <laughs> rainbow looms because they I couldn't sell them anywhere on stores. I wasn't able to find them. So I bought some on Amazon and I have not been able to stop. Literally, I've made so many since I got them. I made these all like last night and this morning. Isn't that crazy? I can't. It's I have an addiction. I cannot stop. Ah, uh, no pets allowed in play area. Guess Natalie's gotta leave. Mom, we can't take Natalie here. It says no pets allowed in play area. It says two to five. Which means I am alive. Oh, okay, well then you're good. Yep. Mom, you're too old. You gotta get off. You're not five. But they're a pet. A what? So you still have to leave. Got it? Okay. You better leave, you pet. Pest. I'm not leaving. Oh, you're not a pet. You're a pest. There's a difference. You're a pest, too. Oh, your mom's a pest. Mom, you're a pest. Oh, I forgot we have the same mom. Naomi said you're a pest, mom. How's you a pest? Give me a badge. <laughs> Okay, I guess I have to leave because I'm not having fun. It says have fun and it's hard to have fun. Yeah, I'm not really having fun. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to head out. Well, I have to leave then. Bye. Bye. We're leaving. Oh. We're leaving. No, don't come with me. What? Bye, Pest.
let's see if she actually goes. Let's see how far she'll she turns around. I'm guessing she's gonna turn around right now. She doesn't even know. Probably. I'm still feeling like she doesn't know if I'm saying anything. She don't even know I'm talking about her. Look at how ugly. Look at how ugly she is. Look at how stupid she looks. Wow. I think she's about to start walking back this way. She doesn't even know all the bad things I'm saying about her. I could be saying anything about her. I could be destroyed. Hi, I knew you were coming back! Hi! Bye, Lulu. Don't I look all grown up today with my wallet and keys and iced tea that's unsweetened? I'm a big grown up girl. I got my coffee. I got my keys and my wallet and my mom's with me. What's up, Boo? Is that a good donut, Lulu? Give me a thumb. <laughs> you can't ask for another one until you're finished. I mean, I'll take it. No. <laughs> soggy donuts? You like soggy donuts? Not soggy. You dip in them. That's weird. No, I just eat them as is. You don't dip them in cider? Unless it's hot. I only dip it in hot. The cider's not hot. Dipping in cold is just weird. You weirdo. <laughs> I have this. Oh, okay, first of all, it's caramel apple latte. It's really good. I, I am in the. Oh, where you had a napkin? But this is not what we're talking about. We are talking about. I got this tea fauna. Peach cream tea from Starbucks that I really like. I mean, I didn't get this from Starbucks, but they have it at Starbucks. I'm gonna put a splash of apple cider in it and see how that tastes. Because it's not very sweet. Usually when I buy the peach cream tea, it's sweeter than this. Oh, it's wow. not peach. Oh, it, it, you're it's going to taste food. mostly like applesauce. Applesauce. <laughs> so what? Only, okay. I put apple cider in it. Now let's see how it tastes. Okay, I'm going to have a lot of apple cider. I'm going to go with my peach. Oh, wait. No lemonade. No. I can't have lemonade. It has lemongrass in it. It's not the same thing. Here. Mm, so yeah. Oh, go That's actually good. I don't know. It's like a, instead of putting sugar in it, put apple cider in it. Hack. Did you guys see my cheese head packer earrings? I'm from Wisconsin, obviously. Beautiful. Hey, people, time for a rant. <laughs> well, okay. These people at Steak and Shake are making me really mad. Because, Life can be I don't understand. There, we go through the drive-thru. Okay, shut up, Caleb. We'll listen to you later. Sorry. I don't feel very positive and encouraging right now. I feel mad and mad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so we go through the drive-thru, and they're like, nobody's there. Nobody says anything. I don't hear anybody talking. I'm like, hello, 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 and they're not answering, like, through the speaker. I'm right in front of the speaker, so I'm like, oh, through the speaker, mom's like, the speaker's broken, so you go pull forward to the window. I pull forward, there, forward to the window. Somebody inside saw me. They looked right at me, and they walked away, and several people walked by and saw me. I'm honking my horn, trying to get their attention. Telling them, hey, your speaker's broken, and I give them my order. I'm in the drive-thru. I'm a bit. I'm giving them business, and they're just looking at me and walking away and not coming to the window. So mom's going inside and talking to them, but I'm so mad. And she's mom said texted Lydia and said something like, like they don't look too smart in here. Like I don't know what's going on, but why would you like turn away a? Like, like, not pay attention to a paying customer. If your drive thru is broken down, you should put a sign. I mean, if you're not not broken down, but if you're not using your drive thru, you should put a sign out that says you're not using your drive thru. You shouldn't just stare at people and until they go away. Like, I could have been a paying customer. I could have paid you. Don't you want business? Don't you want money? 
Ugh! Like, what? Like, these people are... This is why I don't go to Steak and Shake. These people make me so mad. I'm, I'm the... I, I don't know why. I'm just so... I don't know why I'm so triggered by this, because it's not even getting food for me. I'm just so triggered by this, because, like... I'm so triggered when there's places with bad customer service like why are you turning away paying customers don't you want to be paid why are you why would you be rude to people who are giving you money like if they don't okay it looks like they're coming back and they got food i'll tell i'll ask mom what happened so what what's the scoop is the drive through broken i wouldn't i would no, they're just idiots because I, there, like, some woman and a guy, and I was like, um, is your drive through And they're like, uh, yeah, it's open. Did you tell them nobody talked to me through the speaker? I said, well, and that nobody... we're beeping the horn and waiting by the window when people are walking by. And Did you tell them, like... He's like, uh, like, okay, I'll take your order then, and let's go home. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so... Why have a drive through if nobody's going to work at the drive through? Yeah, we need a band-aid up. We'll be home in two minutes. 